How you doing, everybody? It's Jonathan the Game. Welcome back to more ARMS. Last time, we went to the Grand Prix with two players, and I gotta show how that works. In this episode, you might be wondering why we're starting off on the title screen. Well, if we go into it... Things are looking a little different, aren't they? This is a party crash. The event theme? Bodyguard recruiting. A party crash, the best way I can describe it, would possibly best be... A splat fest. Think of it as a splat fest for arms, and here's how it works. Level up and win prizes. Arms Lab is throwing the event of the season. Join in, win points, and raise your lab level. When the event ends, collect gold and badges based on your level you reach. Featured fighters come with a bonus. Here at Arms Labs, we're eager to see certain pairs of test uh, fighters in action. Use one of those featured fighters to earn extra points at the event. The results will be of the experiment, sorry, party, and each fighter's points totals will be announced. Use featured fighters to earn bonus arms and your points will increase by 1.5. If featured fighter is losing big, the 1.5 multiplayer will increase to 2 by times 2, giving them a shot to come back. Every 15 minutes, a bonus will increase points times 2 times 3, etc. So, depending on what fighter you're playing as, you'll earn more. You can play as fighters that aren't, obviously, the two main fighters at this point. But obviously you just won't earn as much. These are the badges you can get. There are special badges that you can get during these events. And if and if, not really, if you miss an event, as long as you play the next one and get up to a certain level, you can potentially get any badges you might have missed. Also, at the end of the you get the badges at the end of the uh, the the, uh, the party crash, and depending on the level you were at, is that how many badges you can get? The maximum amount of badges you can get is six at level thirty, and then depending on the, le the level of your your lab level, you also get fifty coins times that at the end of the event as well. Here you can see the schedule of the event. It will list off the, the bonus arms you get. It will also list off what kind of event we're going on at, a certain, at the last like five minutes of the event. All these events have different effects. For example, so much rush. You'll basically always have your rush available to you, except for a short, like a second after you use it, will it recharge, will it recharge really quickly, and you can use it short after. Arms that selects one on one. It will always be one-on-one -on -one fights, and you'll be given randomly assigned arms that you can choose from. I believe always at least one bonus arm is available to you. Or you can headlock. You can probably guess what that is. It'll be only headlock facts for that in five minutes. Bombs away. It'll be all bombs all the time. One hit wonder. This is a one hit wonder. <laughs> Basically, one KO hit is all you need to get a KO. Big time arms that bombs will have will be much bigger and deal much more damage. Honestly, you could potentially finish it off in three hits. Too many headlocks is basically the same as all you headlock. <laughs> Alternate V ball will be all V ball. You're getting kind of basically getting the idea. There are a lot of different events, and this and party crash goes on for about three days. It usually lasts for like a weekend. So, like Friday morning till Monday morning is usually how it goes. But, how about we stop talking about it and start going into it? I haven't actually touched this body crash yet. In fact, I haven't actually touched the last couple of body crashes because, well, I've been playing Smash. <laughs> also, I only have all the badges you can get from the body crash. So, there's not much more I really can get from the body crash. Other than gold, which I don't need because I already have all the arms that unlocked. But, I still want to show it off. Also, when you first start uh, playing in a party crash lobby, it will tell you about this anyway. So I probably didn't actually need to go over it, but I did anyway. So, how about we go Twin Tail? It will highlight the arms that are currently the bonus arms. So if you don't have to worry about that, let's go with Phoenix. And let's go clap back, clap back. I totally missed that. I'll probably be switching between the two for this whole event because that's usually what I do. 
But let's just wait now until it puts us into a match. There's going to be a lot of cutting this episode, I can already tell. Oh man, Sly Cooper. And he actually doesn't have any of the bonus arms. Huh. Uh, you know what? I'm tail with the clapback and the Phoenix, but let's go both of them. Now, the multiplayer, the bonus doesn't stack if you use, like, both of the, mo of the bonus arms. But it will stack with the fighter bonus. So just so you know. So you can't... You won't be able to stack bonuses if you use both bonus arms, you'll just get the 1.5 multiplier bonus from the one. And you only have to use the one arm, or like at least one of them equipped, to have to get that bonus. So don't feel like you need to use both of the arms like I have right now. I just did it because I felt like it. He's not doing much. I missed that with the Phoenix, because like I said, I'm terrible aiming at the Phoenix. Get you. Knock you down. Oh. Should have seen that coming. Luckily he didn't get too big of a hit on me. Oh, that worked. And... Get that off. And that should guarantee my win. He's, there's no way he's gonna recover enough HP at the end of this. See, I get both the multiplayer, multipliers, not multiplayers. <laughs> Multi well, this is multiplayer, but. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh, and he left. Alright, well. Well, we another match. I'm the, old, I'm the odd one out here. Okay. Also, what you saw there on the right, I will be going over that, as I'm sure I'll be getting into one. Okay, let's go Phoenix and Chilla. I'm not confident enough in my ability with the clap back, so. How about no? I was in a bad spot there. Can I get on this, please? Thank you. I got hit by that. Okay, I'm noticing a trend here. Seems like targeting one person. That was not okay. You out. One opponent left. 
grab off. Not enough, but he's going to be down in any second. Like that. <laughs> I was apparently right about the one second. And with that, we level up. Now, nothing immediately happens when you level up. It really just determines... Your level really just determines your rewards at the end. So don't feel about getting not... Feeling bad about your level or anything. If you want to get the max amount of rewards you can get, you want to try and hit level 30. Because that's how that's the max amount of level you can reach to get all the badges. And then like after that, after that, all you get is coins. So if you're not worried about that, I just aim for level 30. And I have arms out selects. We will be given random arms to go into the match with. That we get to choose some. So let's see what we get. We should get at least one. Yeah, I got a Phoenix. I also got the Seeky and a Papa. Um, well, I'm gonna go to the Phoenix so I can get the bonus. And I'm thinking I'm gonna go with the Seeky. And she's going with double. He torches, okay. That was a complete accident, but I'll take it. Oh, I jumped into that. Get the grab off. Got my rush build up. She also has hers. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. I avoid that well, but I'm in a bad spot. I didn't even know it hit her. Oh, I missed. Ah, oh, I'm I have tail aim with the Phoenix. Honestly, I'm a little surprised I've been doing as well as I did. She has her rush now. We can about that. Didn't mean to grab. And I think I got this. Yeah, I know. Three seconds left, I got this. And I had my rush. I was more or less safe. Oh, I think that's good for Trintle. Let's switch over to Bayon Bark for a bit. The bonus arms are the same no matter what character you use, so don't worry about that. Unless you get arms you don't like, but... Oh, one button. One button again. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since I've done this. <laughs> Set arms, let's switch over to Phoenix. I'm not gonna have time to go with Bark Bark. Okay. <laughs> I probably wasn't gonna use Clap Back anyway. I mean, I don't really like the Phoenix either, but I'm better with it than... Also, I just noticed the arms I have. <laughs> um... Huh. Well, guess I'm going with this. Does he have the ice bucket? Oh, that was fast. There's pro also, I tried to... Um... I feel like I hit him there. Also, I'm trying to hover because I'm to use the trunk tail now. Good hit there. Oh, what? Okay, that apparently took enough damage. I'm caught in the wall. Good job, Luck. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm still not any better at fighting in Jaws. Also, I apparently got stuck on the wall? I didn't think I was close enough to that, but okay. Well, Buck, you kind of... No! Enough of that. <laughs> oh, 
Ah, dang it. Thank you, Buck. All right. I don't know how long I'm going to be putting in this episode. But there is multiple things I want to show off. Holy crash. Got a little five, so I already got one badge ready. Also, during these also bonus events, you also get um, extra experience right now. Actually, I'm doing double the experience we would normally. So there's that. So you go on and try and play it for as long as you can. Also, I didn't switch my arms. <laughs> well, I have fe You know what? Just because it's giving me the option. Also, I just realized it doesn't matter what arms I set up because it's giving me random arms. <laughs> what am I gonna Okay. I got Phoenix and Thunderbird here. I got two arms I'm bad with. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I jumped into that. Not. Nope. He only has his rush build up. So do I. Oh. Both our box got knocked down. I had him with the Thunderbird, but I couldn't really take advantage of it. He knocked my box down. So I gotta be careful. Oh! Then you actually see it because the the rush meter was in the way. Good hit there. Alright, get out of there. And I think I have it. I do, okay. It was a little closer, but I had a, it looked like I had a little more HP. That was right. Now I believe depending on what event is currently happening, um as you can see, win streak. I still have a win streak bonus going on. I believe, depending on the event that's currently happening, the win streak will still be there. Also, I need to switch arms again. <laughs> and then after the big multiplier bonus event, the selected arm, the bonus arms will change a bit. They rotate through. One will go away. Another will come in. Uh, I'm guessing with this. Hey, I'm noticing something. Good job, Buck. Nope. Well, I got knocked down, so it didn't matter. Oh, I thought I had my rush for some reason. I don't know why I thought that. Miss that grab. Oh, oh. It went a minute, I didn't have enough time anyway. <laughs> okay, let's long button. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's choose the arms now. Let's get rid of the bub for the chiller. And now I feel like we're back to where we started because these are the similar arms I used before. <laughs> and I'm not in a match. So I guess we'll be waiting until that happens. It shows up in this episode of all things. <laughs> Never showed up for any other episode, but it showed up for this one. Of course. We got headlock. And up, oh, yeah, there's my HP down. Because I went streak. Even though I don't technically have it anymore, but I still kind of do. He started with his rush. I don't think I've had a hit yet. It's level 7 headlock, so I gotta be a little careful. I was really hoping that would have hit him, but it didn't seem to. Alright, so still, I'm not a fan of the stage. I mean, I like the music. Ow! <laughs> Ow! I, okay. Oh, I have my rush too. Why am I using it? Because of that. <laughs> well, at least I got him a bit. But he has his rush. Never mind. <laughs> oh god. Well. Did his eye... Was his eye coming out of his socket? That's actually kind of terrifying. Okay. And I still have a win streak. Okay, uh... No, I'll call this game. This is my... This is actually a normal set I have for, like, well, actually for Twin Tail, not for Biden Bug. But it works on Biden Bug. So, what I'm gonna plan to do now, there's really one more thing I want to show off in the part before the party crash. I kind of want to show off the different events, but like I said, they're really just... It's pretty self-explanatory for the most part what the event is. And almost, honestly, I don't really know how much time I have to play for the event. Well, they're just ignoring me. I don't even want- I don't even want headlock, I'm- because I know I'll be a target if I hit have it. Yep. It's fine, I just need to... Oh! Old Bob can get the kill for me. Okay, that works. <laughs> okay, so what I think the plan is going to be now is while I, I wouldn't mind showing off more of the events, but like I said, it's pretty self-explanatory. They're just different events that will happen on. Different themes. But there's one more thing I want to show off, and we're actually seeing it right now, sort of. <laughs> but I want to show that off. And that's going to be the last thing I want to show off. So I'm going to be cutting ahead until I get into that. Oh, 
Okay, how much time is left is- oh! Pfft. Of course the one thing that I want to show up doesn't show up. Oh! Really? <laughs> the one thing I wanted to show up, which two of them showed up and I'm not either of them. Didn't appear- I didn't get into... Even though it was supposed to appear more likely. Also, I can't use the Thunderbird anymore. <laughs> I mean, the, the Phoenix anymore, not the Thunderbird. Because I am getting stuck doing headlock scramble. <laughs> oh my god, I'm in it. We're finally in, and it's only with one other person, which is not a good thing. <laughs> oh no, wait. So, where was the other guy? I didn't even see him. Here we have level 8 headlock. Take everything you know about normal headlock. And make it worse. <laughs> Level 8 headlock only appears during a party crash, and he is much more ruthless than any other headlock. In fact, there is actually a combo he can do which is normally impossible. Thankfully he didn't do it there. <laughs> he also bids his rush gauge much faster than normal headlock as well, so you gotta be careful about this guy constantly. In fact, I'll want to have, have one teammate down, and he's not even halfway out. Down. We got a health back up. We got to be careful about that set still. I am frozen. That's bad. My wind's not really. No, no, you do not. <laughs> oh, that's bad. You do not mean to be in that. Get. I'm by myself against level 8 headlock. That's a, just a lose. That's just a loss. You can. <laughs> if you can beat level 8 headlock by, on your own, you deserve a reward. <laughs> I don't want to say it's impossible, but it's very unlikely. Mostly just due to the fact of how much health he has. And he doesn't flinch when you hit him. <laughs> I got really unlucky. The fact that one teammate got down, went down really early and the last teammate went down. S next teammate went down soon after. <sighs> but at the same time, I kind of like this because one, it's a magical fight. Which can be fun. I was kind of hoping we get part of it. Oh, that's what the other guy was. <laughs> he was a two-player. Okay. But anyway, that's all I wanted to show off of Party Crash. I would leave the lobby, but I'm currently in the match, so I can't. <laughs> but that's also all I wanted to show off of arms. That is every last thing of arms I wanted to go over. There is more to come. I will be releasing a two separate videos. One being a compilation of all the fighter bios, the other being a compilation of all the arm bios. I will be releasing those in a bit. Um, probably not right after this video, maybe like a day or two after. Uh, I'm not completely sure when this will go up. But those will be coming. And... As I mentioned before, ARMS is a game that I've had fallen in love with. I mistargeted. <laughs> I had fallen in love with, I had fallen in love with the characters, I can't s okay, I'm dying. <laughs> I'm not dying, I'm alive. I'm dying, never mind. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm not dead, but I lost my rush. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> okay. Anyways, like I was saying, Arms has become a game that I have completely fallen in love with. I wanted to show it off for the longest time, and I'm glad I can finally have shown off every last bit of this game to you guys. Anyway, that's all for now. I will be taking a bit of a break, there will be a bit of a gap between the next LP. There will be still some videos going up. 
just a little like side off one off things but thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next LP until then stay fresh <laughs>